This plant is Cystus Sunset, Magenta Rock Rose. And the Rock Rose family is a, um, a really broad group of plants. They are um, from the Mediterranean area and very useful in drier areas, uh, especially ne near the seashore. Um, they are very deer resistant um, because their leaves are full of resin that uh, can be quite pungent and the deer just don't seem to like that. So um, that along with uh, very good drought resistance makes these very popular and as I said especially near the ocean. Um, these that you're looking at are in Pacific Grove, California and uh, much like the San Francisco area along the coast. Um, so in design what I like about these plants is that uh, they have this natural form that you see here and uh, this plant's probably never been pruned. It's about four to five feet wide and two and a half to three feet tall at its top. And um, this shot is taken in mid-April. Um, and this is just beginning to bloom. By the time this gets its full bloom, you probably won't see very much foliage. There are thousands of um, flowers on this plant. And um, that's one of the pop things that make these popular is that when they go into their full show they're they're really stunning um, and they bloom from early spring on through uh, sometimes as late as early summer so probably uh, there's maybe two to three month bloom um, and um, and they can different types sporadically bloom after that uh, Again, water, let's get into how to take care of these and how to set them up. Uh, once they're established, they really don't need much water. Here in uh, the Monterey Bay area, there's no seasonal rain for about six months during the summer. Now it is cooler, so they can handle that better than some other areas, but even inland where I live, uh, where it gets into the 90s and the 100s, uh, these are very drought tolerant. So I would say establish these on drip irrigation. I wouldn't recommend spraying these, and um, and then they can really be held back quite a bit once they're established. The one thing about the plant that I don't love is these, if you put them in regular garden conditions and you water them a lot, you can kill them. Um, I stopped using rock rose uh, years ago because people were just treating them like any other plant in terms of watering and they were dying after three to six years. So. Uh, just be aware that that combined with heavy soils, these prefer well-drained soils, and when you're near the ocean, you tend to have that. Um, if you're going to have heavier soils, then I would want to use these on slopes so that they're not sitting in low-lying areas that would hold a lot of moisture in the soil. Um, and then in terms of design, these look amazing with um, Echium fastuosum. They bloom at the same time. That's Pride of Madeira. You get this blue to purple flower spike along with this magenta. It's really something else. And uh, also Salvia lucantha, Mexican sage, looks great with this. Um, and then I think they look really nice on informal slope plantings uh, and grouped with other uh, more informal feeling plants. Also another plant I saw this with that I liked a lot was Tucrium fruticans and that's germander and it's got a gray foliage with a blue flower blooming at the same time. It looked great with that. So Cystus sunset. If you um, use this I would say if you're going to use more than one space these four to five feet on center. Buy them in one gallon containers. They grow quickly. No need to buy bigger plants. Um, also make sure you give them room. If you end up having to prune these most cystus don't take pruning very well so you want to make sure you give them enough room and then if you're going to have to prune them use the natural or selective pruning that I show on the other video. Um, but uh, very deer resistant, drought resistant, and a beautiful display of flowers over a long period in late spring to early summer. Sistus Sunset, Magenta Rock Rose.